two people have died, while more than 200 families have been displaced by the flash floods in northern Kenya's Marsabit County. The families have also lost their livestock and property of unknown value to the floods. The county government is now urging the national government and well-wishers to step in and lend a hand to the affected families, while also cautioning the residents to seek shelter in higher ground. Shot depicting the devastating scenes in Logo Logo area in Marsabit County as flash floods continue to wreak havoc. The water pathway is evidently seen from above as many homesteads have been left lifeless and deserted. It is reported that two people have succumbed to the floods, one being an elderly man from Logo Logo in Laisami's constituency and the other being a child in Marsabit town. Marsabit Governor Ali Mohamud, while giving aid to the affected families, urged the national government to rally in and assist with humanitarian aid to the affected families. As a county, we will be shortly discussing supplementary budget to address these issues of disaster. I think uh, this matter is already getting attention in the assembly. The budget committee is retreating to look at uh, what provisions we are going to make as a government so that we will be able to effectively address this matter. The same scenes are now being witnessed in Mandara County, most of Mandara North as homesteads have now flooded due to the heavy rainfall being experienced. Residents living between Bulgoromolsk and Rahmudab playing ground have been urged to relocate to avoid possible health hazards. This disaster uh, from experience has been affecting many families. Uh, Ethiopian highlands at our border. Uh, normally, when it rains heavily like this, many families are displaced. We continue cooperating the way we have done uh, today so that we shall be able to avert the crisis in the county. For more than 200 families have since been affected by the floods, as many have also lost their livestock. The areas majorly affected are Mati, Kiwanjandege, Pakistan, Odola, Anjali and Bahruk. The increasing water levels have also led to spillage in Karare Dam resulting to flooding in Karare Ward. Helen Aura, NTV.